what is up guys this is Stilo back with another video and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you how can we check on your device that if you have anti rollback or not so first things first make sure you download the ADB drivers from the description below and now you have to do this so first of all you need to boot your phone into fast boot mode and to do that you can just power off your device and hold volume down and the power button together for a couple of seconds and it will boot into fast boot mode once the device boots into fast boot mode you have to connect the device with your pc via a micro usb cable and do note that guys i was on the global beta miui 10 8.7.5 build and now i am on resection remix because of course i am afraid of getting this anti rollback problem so now all the work is on pc I am assuming that you have already installed ADB drivers from the descriptions and here are the instructions sorted in text and here is the command which says fastboot git for anti. If the result comes as 3 then you are not affected and if you get 4 then you my friend are stuck and affected with the anti rollback technology if you wanna see it that way. So now in your desktop. Hold shift button on your keyboard and right click at the same time. Now click on open command window or you can do it with powershell too. So now let me just check that if my device is detected or not. I'll just type fastboot devices. So as you can see my device is detected. So now let me just paste the command here which I copied already and hit enter. So here as you can see the result for me is 3. So what it means is I can flash older ROMs but if this number comes as 4 for your specific device I am sorry to say you are affected with anti rollback and if you try to flash previous or older MIUI builds on your device or even firmwares it will break your device for sure. So do not even try to flash older builds if you get the result as number 4. And I did a Hindi video about it which I link in the cards right here and for some of you it was not understandable and for some of you it was confusing. So I'm gonna be clearing some things up. So in which MIUI builds you will get the anti rollback issue. Here are the list. So make sure if you don't want to get this issue do not flash these builds. Do not. So. Let's talk about the consequences. So consequence number one, I'm assuming that you have TWRP recovery and you have flashed the builds like these builds which I mentioned. Any of these builds like from the previous builds and you upgraded to these builds with TWRP recovery and I am assuming that you have flashed lazy flasher. What's the problem? Well, you can't simply roll back to the previous version of that build or previous version of any stable build or beta build. Be it enabled, you can't just roll back. You can just upgrade when a new build comes. So this is consequence number one. Consequence number two, I am assuming that you have TWRP recovery but you have not flashed lazy flasher. So right now you are stuck, like literally, because your TWRP is now gone so if you try to flash the TWRP recovery now, you will get this error. See, it says anti rollback failed or something. So this is the issue. You can't simply flash TWRP. I don't know why some guys reported that they can't flash TWRP on those builds. I mean via fast boot. So this is a huge issue. So now I am assuming that you do not have TWRP recovery at all. You have updated the ROM with updater app. So what's the problem now? Well, if you just upgrade it to those builds which I mentioned again, well, you won't be able to flash TWRP recovery now via fast boot. It will give you the same error again. So this is a huge issue in my opinion. Xiaomi literally needs to fix this because users like us would like to change the ROMs. They are just stuck. It's, it just sucks. Why Xiaomi did this? Well, in my opinion, reason number one might be that Xiaomi has detected some errors and even some people like us faced the issues while downgrading to a previous build of MIUI that something might broke 
like your sim card is not detecting or your wi-fi is not working or your fingerprint scanner is not working after downgrading so it might be because of this issue reason number two well i think xiaomi just want to make people use me why they will be just stuck so that they can throw you some ads while opening folders and they can earn some money from it i think this is reason number two so that's what i think about anti-rollback what do you guys think let me know in the comments down below and if this video helped you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel right here if you haven't yet this is tito from kdn tech signing off for today and i'll catch you guys later